May the Lord bless and keep you. When I was praying today, we have to understand that our thoughts are not our own. We have to know that demons and God can speak to us through our thoughts because it is not us. Because how can thoughts that I really never thought of come to me and I learn from it? Think about that. If you are receiving thoughts and you are learning from them, obviously those thoughts are not coming from you. And how things are with me, I believe you can say the Holy Spirit, God, whatever else. This is how I receive my ideas on what to speak about in these videos. They don't come from me. Now, if there is error, yes, it came from me, but if there is no error and everything is right and it is helping you, it is coming from God. Because if everything that I am speaking about at a certain time period is helping you and helping you change, can you say that it is coming from demons? Of course not. Because if you look at the fruit of what I am speaking about, you can see that it is coming from God, not demons. So when a person says, hey, how do you know if what you are saying is coming from God or demons? First of all, if it is aligning with the Bible, then you know that it is coming from God. If it is not aligning with the Bible and it is getting into wickedness, then you know that it is coming from demons. Very simple. So I don't need to hear God's actual booming voice <laughs> to know <laughs> what he is saying to me. Some people believe that you need to hear God's actual voice. No, you don't. Because God speaks to us in many ways. Sometimes God speaks to us through other people, this is why you need to know what the Bible says. Because the person that you least expect to say something that is of God or pertaining to your situation, that is going to be the person that is going to say something or God is going to use to relay a message to you. I am telling you. So while I was praying, something was coming to my mind and what came to my mind i believe i made a video about the fruit of the spirit but what was coming to my mind today was the fruit of the spirit what came to me is the fruit of the spirit and we need to improve more in the fruit of the Spirit. And you may say that, well, I don't curse anymore. I don't fornicate, commit adultery. I don't beat my spouse. I am very kind and whatever. So you may say that where you are at right now, you are okay with God. What came to me is that we all need to improve in the fruit of the Spirit. 
let me say this, and you may disagree with this, but I don't believe I am wrong. This is what came to me. There are different levels in these attributes. So you see love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. There are different levels in these attributes. For instance, with the gift of teaching, I believe I may have that gift. But there are others with the gift of teaching that are much, <laughs> much higher than I much higher than I. They can teach circles, light years, better than I. Very wise. So since I can't teach as good as they, can you say that, well, Kevin, since you can't teach that well or as good as they, that means that you don't have the gift of teaching. That is not true. Let me say this too. Every prophet and prophetess, all of them are not on the same level. They are not. Let me make this really easy to understand. Every Christian that you see now are all of them operating on the same level of course not of course not everyone is not operating in the same amount of power in god by far everyone is not on the same level let me say this moses how many people operated on the same level as Moses? <laughs> Do everyone operate on the same level in power as Moses? Of course not. Of course not. No. Not at all. So, okay. There are different levels. Every gift that we have, whether it is teaching, prophecy, whatever and whatever, there are different levels to it. What came to me is the fruit of the Spirit. Yes, you may not curse, you may not do those foolish things that you did in your past, but you need to improve more in the fruit of the Spirit. For instance, I have love for people. Sometimes I believe I have too much love for people. Even with that, there is a limit to my love. I have to get to the point where there is no limit. Yes, I have joy and peace, but there is a limit to it. I am going to have joy and peace until a certain point. When things get really bad, I may get depressed. So you can say that there is a limit to my joy and peace. So I am on a certain level with joy and peace. Please listen to what I am saying. Please listen. Please listen. I pray that you learn something. We have to become more and more like Jesus Christ each and every day. Jesus Christ have these attributes. 
he is operating with these attributes, he doesn't have a limit to it. Since we have to be more like him, we should not have any limit to any of these attributes. I am going to love you until you backstab me. I am going to have faith in God as long as he do what I ask. Limits. Get rid of the limits. That includes myself because I have limits. So you can say that I am not exactly where I should be in God because I still have limits in these attributes. So I need to improve in these attributes. Because I was thinking, how much more love do I need for people when they use me, take advantage of me, treat me sometimes like I am like trash, but I am still there for them. So how much more love do I need to show them? Kevin, you still, you are still operating with a limit in love. So you need to improve more in love. So you need to stretch out that limit more and more until there is no limit. Until I get to the point where, hey, you can do whatever you want to me. You can abuse me. You can hate me. You can use me. And the door is always going to be open for you. You need to get to that point. Man, I am telling you. I am telling you. I am telling you. We can't have any limits in these attributes. I am telling you. Long suffering. Patience. Yes, some people are extremely difficult. And some names pop into my mind now or some faces. And as things are now, I have a limit to my patience. And this may make sense to you because you may have limits to your patience as well. But that is wrong. That is wrong. We need to get to the point where there is no limit to our patience. No matter what they do to us, no matter what we say to us, we need to have the door open for those people always. Don't God, when we go out in sin and betray God, don't God have the door open so that we can repent and come back to him? Yes. We need to be the same way for people as well. You need to keep the door open. We can't shut it. Well, this person hurt me, so I never want to speak to them anymore because it really hurts still. And I was so kind to them and they just used me. Listen. What you are saying is foolishness. <laughs> Listen, I am not here on this channel to hurt people's feelings. I am not. And some people take my words in the wrong way, which I don't understand. I can't sugarcoat this. I can't sugarcoat this. I have to give it to you straight. How can you improve if I cater to your feelings? I have to give it to you straight. I don't want you to cry. I don't want you to be angry with me. I don't. But how can you improve if I don't give it to you straight? If I lace it with sugar, you are going to stay lukewarm. You are going to stay in sin. Well, Kevin, uh, you can say it in another way. Does the Bible say it in another way? 
If you sin, you are going to hell. So why should I sugarcoat that? Won't I get into trouble if I don't teach properly? Am I saying that I know everything? Of course not. Of course not. But why should I sugarcoat something when I can get myself into trouble? So you are over there mad at me because of what I am saying, but I am not here to hurt you. I am not. I am doing this out of love. Listen, the old me, <laughs> I would research about God and keep my mouth shut and keep to myself. But I want to help people because I love people. I love God. This is why I am telling you about this. We all get hurt. I continue to hurt. Sometimes I want to shut myself off and leave everyone alone and keep to myself, but I can't. I can't. I am at the point where I can't leave people alone. I can't. Because the love that I have for people, even though I am mistreated sometimes, whatever, who cares? I don't care. I forgive and I move on. I forgive and I move on. We can't have any limits. Right now, I am operating on a limit in patience. For instance, there is this one person that agitates me so much, so much. And this guy gave me an email why are you contacting me? But I thought about it again. Hey, Kevin, you are operating on a limit in patience. That is wrong. If that person needs your help, so be it. You need to be there for them. So I am like, so I have to be there for people, but people can treat me anyhow? Yes. It is not about what people do to you. It is about what you do to people. Who cares what people do to you? It is all about what you do to people. That is what came to me. So I need to change more. I have to stop operating with limited love, limited joy, peace, and patience gentleness and all these attributes there should be no limit i pray that this makes sense so let me stop here god bless you make sure you share and subscribe god bless you